Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie. I'm a lead GP and a senior university clinical educator. In this video, we will discuss menopause. We will explore different definitions, including premature ovarian failure, early menopause, current menopause, and post menopause. What are the key symptoms? How can we make appropriate assessment? And what investigation should we consider? What additional information do we need prior to management? Coming right up. Menopause happen when menstruation stops permanently due to the loss of follicular function and hormones including estrogen and testosterone. In the UK, the mean age of this is 51 years, although the last period may occur between the age of 45 to 55. Perimenopause describes the time before the menopause and is characterized by irregular cycles of menstruation and ovulation and ends 12 months after the last period. Postmenopause describes the time 12 months after the last period. Early menopause describes cessation of ovarian function between the age of 40 to 45 in the absence of secondary amenorrhea. Premature ovarian failure describes transient or permanent loss of ovarian function before the age of 40. Suspicions for perimenopause or menopause happen if there's a change in menstruation pattern which can be shortened to two to three weeks or lengthened to several months. There may be a increase in flow slightly. There are symptoms such as hot flushes, night nice sweat, mood disorder, urogenital symptoms, autosexual function, sleep disturbance and fatigue. Cognitive symptoms may include poor concentration, brain fog, difficulty multitasking. Mood changes may include anxiety, depression, irritability and mood swing. Urogenital symptoms may include dryness, reduced libido, urgency, frequency and recurring urinary tract infection. Some women may describe symptoms of aches and pain and headache Due to reduced estrogen, physical symptoms may include hair loss, brittle nail, and thinning of the skin. Follicle stimulating hormone or FSH is produced in the anterior pituitary gland, which is responsible for the development of the follicles, which produce estrogen and progesterone. If a woman is over the age of 45 with typical symptoms, and is not on contraception, there is no need to do a confirmation blood test, although it can be considered in atypical symptoms. FSH can be used between the age of 40 to 45 and under the age of 40 with suspicion for premature ovarian failure, provided she is not on combined contraception. It can also be used in a woman over the age of 50 on progesterone-only contraception, including depo injection. A single FSH sample of more than 30 indicates a degree of ovarian insufficiency, but not sterility. It is recommended to repeat the sample four to six weeks apart. You may want to add additional blood tests, including thyroid function, lipid profile, and HbA1c for general assessment. For a woman under the age of 40, additional blood tests may include luteinizing hormone, prolactin, estradiol and thyroid function. We do not routinely do AMH or anti-malarian hormone in primary care, which is a measure of ovarian reserve. It is vital to ask about lifestyle factors including smoking, alcohol and exercise. Ask about contraception. Cancer screening, including cervical smear, bowel screening, and mammogram. You may ask about family history, including premature ovarian failure, pulmonary embolism, deep end thrombosis, and breast cancer. You may want to explore 
the treatment goals, including hormonal, non-hormonal, and non-pharmacological treatment. Ask if she has tried anything before and if they are effective. You may want to check for condition that may affect treatment options, including hysterectomy with or without oophorectomy, CVD risk, including hypertension, diabetes, and stroke. Previous history, including breast and ovarian cancer. Check for her weight and perform blood pressure. You may want to explore menstruation pattern, including postcoital bleed, intermenstrual bleed, and postmenopausal bleed, and refer for two week weight referral if gynecological cancer is suspected. In the next video, we will discuss management option of menopause, including HRT. Thank you for watching this video and why don't you check out another video I made on the diagnosis and assessment of asthma. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my GP Team Academy channel and until next time.